Okay, we're going live now. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Great Awakening Generator. And for, I was going to say, and for those of you watching on Light Language Messenger, you're very welcome as well. I'll say it because sometimes, um, you know, I do I do the light language for both sides. But anyway, sorry, I digress. Thank you so much for joining us today. Live chat with Ginny Jones. And how are you, Ginny? I'm very good. Uh, thank you. I was nearly going to respond then in light language. It, it was just going to go. Why didn't you? Why didn't you? I mean, like, just, just yeah. go for it. Because, you know, I did a recording earlier for today's light language message and it wouldn't stop. <laughs> I yeah. had to like sort of bring it in, own it in. So I think yeah, we've got more downloads at the moment, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's really good. Um, the Skywatch we had last week, there was a lady who was shaking. She was getting a massive download while we were sat outside in the circle. Yeah. yeah so loads of people are getting downloads at the moment. And the body is recalibrating, which yes. is great. Yes, And indeed. the brain. So yeah. before we carry on, Jenny, because we've taken off, haven't we? Um, yeah. Please remind us where people can find out more information about you and your work. And what it is that you do, because I mean, we, I, I remember the last time we had a chat, I didn't go there and I felt like after, oh, Rose, you should have done that. But so let's do it now. So even if we forget later on, we've already done it. All right. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm a healer. I'm a higher consciousness activator as well. Um, I do work up in the realms of higher consciousness and other dimensional spaces when I'm doing healing and I live this. It's not a part-time thing for me. I absolutely live it all the time. And uh, I find it fascinating and magical and have contact with um, other dimensional beings. And uh, it's just a big part of my world, as well as me having a family and, and uh, you know, kids, grown-up kids and grandchildren and, and all that stuff. Um but uh, yeah, I'm a healer. That's the main thing I do. I also do spiritual activations. I'm also read and mediumship. Um, uh, and literally, I class myself as an ambassador for spirit, but also for ET um, to do whatever is asked upon me at the moment. I do a lot of clearing work as well. So that's um, earthbound spirits, earthbound ETs, earth, non-human entities of, mm. of people and houses and land. Uh, that's wow. a big part of my work. So yeah. when I think about, um, so I know that people do clearings for, for houses and for the land, right here, this is earth. This is earth. We know that the land has history and things like that. And I, I wasn't thinking we we're going to talk about this, but I, I just, I'm, I'm listening today and I'm hearing some things I didn't hear before. Because, you know, sometimes we hear so much information and then we, we only glean certain bits of it. But what yeah. I'm hearing today is, because for me to clear, to have a clearing of a property or a piece of land or a house is, or any building, it makes sense, normal, okay? But you said something about working with earthbound or, or, or clearing earthbound spirits or working with the galactics really in terms of, clearing blocks and and bringing healing and it, it and, and that's a bit different right that's not your ordinary no no my healings are very different I mean I, they started off like you know when I when I was training I learned uh, so many different healing techniques and I became a Reiki master teacher um so, uh, so Reiki was a big part of my life but it's moved on to a much more advanced and I want to say, and I don't want to sound egotistical or anything, but I I want to say a higher, more intense energy that I work with now, which is light information. Okay. Uh, so it's like tapping into it and bringing it down for the soul that I'm working with. But wow. um, yeah, going back to the clearing, I the first thing I do when I'm doing a healing session is to check to see if there are any earthbound spirits or non-human entities attached into someone's field. Because okay. if there is, honestly, it can create such a disruption in the energetic field of, of, a, of people. Um, at, at the moment, 
because I suppose of the spiritual war, there's a lot of light and there's also a lot of dark flying around trying to stop people. There's a lot of light workers that are being targeted yes. right now. Yes. Um, yeah, so I am able to go in and suss out with my team. So it's not just me. I have a team of helpers that are specifically for that and go in and suss out if someone has got someone with them. And you know what? The, when someone comes to me for healing, um, more often than not, they do. Because it's almost like a soul calling, you know, that they have thought, oh, I'll go and get a healing with Ginny. I need to see Ginny. And it's like a soul nudge that they get. Mm. And I know that that's one of the reasons is because I can remove yeah. that. Yeah. I've uh, come across all sorts of non-human um entities with people right ranging from reptilians to um other sort of energy beings to um i call them like they look like might that's how i see them so somebody else might see them completely differently but they look like might and they drain okay. energy so they can they can sort of like attach into someone's field and then start draining and miss you know really messing with the field um the main the main one that's that they all do the earthbound spirits go straight away uh the non-human entities can be a bit stubborn um not necessarily so much now but when i first started doing that and i'm finding different things as i go along and a lot of it is working with portals okay. Um, and these things can attach just for anyone out there. If, if you're not sure they can attach, if you are feeling a little bit low or you've had an emotional, um, release, and maybe you might go out shopping, uh, you, you know, they often linger in crowded places. So it can be a shopping mall, a cinema, a school, wow. um, you know, anywhere where there's a lot of people and sometimes, just on the street um and yeah it's just when people dip down and the, the way to keep them away i must say this the way to keep them away is to be fully empowered in your own knowing with no fear standing in your strength and your power and and they won't come near you then yeah and just yeah. remembering for people listening that unconditional love is the highest frequency so if you're radiating that energy out from your field they won't come near yeah because they probably cannot cope in that environment it's too That's right. it, it's too good for them and um, yeah. i was going to ask you so you know do uh these entities that attach themselves are they are they good are they for good and you've already answered the question because if they are sucking energy out of your field that's not good yeah. that can't be no. a good thing that's that, that's no. disempowering the person who's going through that absolutely right? any other form that does that to someone is not good yep yeah. yep yeah, exactly yeah um it's a very complex world this we live in right because when i think about mm. it i think like um i've had in the last 18 months i've had various experiences and you you know because i i do the work i do i even when you're doing good, it would seem, even if you're, if you are vibrating at a high level, it's somehow when you just have a moment where you're not actually on that platform, anything can attach itself and some, and, and the, the attachment is more about um, ill intent. It's not to, it's to disempower. It's to bring it, yeah, yeah, bring yeah. people down. Right. So this is why it's very yeah. important. What, yeah. what would you recommend to someone who uh, like to in, all of us, like, Hey, how do you put your protection around yourself that this doesn't happen to us? Because, you know, we go, we go, we're going through the journey right now. Many people are awakening, but in particular, light workers had a really rough 18 months. Mm. The last 18 months for light workers have okay. been really, really rough because we suddenly started to feel all the Ascension symptoms physically. And then we had all that other stuff going on. And then sometimes you, you didn't know whether it was really sickness 
because it presented some of the ascension symptoms presented, for example, like sicknesses or, or diagnosis we had in terms of, you know, whatever we've been going through for the last few years or however long any person has been going through it. So, you know, how do you feel? How does one know, okay, something is attached to me? How does one know how to protect yourself? You know, once you've had like somebody comes to you and has a clearing, so how do they protect themselves post all of that? Okay, well, once I've done the clearing on them, uh, uh, there's some protocols that I go by. And I, I do say to them, you know, the best thing you can do is be in your power, radiate out unconditional love and be in that. But like you said, we all drop down at points. Even I do. And occasionally I get visitors, but I recognize it within myself. So if I start feeling a bit off or I've got maybe because it can come out physically as well, it, a pain in the body or something going on that's the first thing I do is check for that so once someone's been cleared and they've been totally cleared um there is a meditation of a guy that uh he's a Reiki healer in the UK and I always send his meditation which is on YouTube and I can send it to you yes afterwards. and I'd love to put it I would love to put it on yeah. on the link as well for people because I just feel like it's very yeah. good for us to be able to say, hey, you know, we're talking about this and this is what you can do and here's here's the thing that you can use. So, yeah. Absolutely. Mm. It's really good. And basically it's a grounding and protection meditation. So if you don't meditate, it's important to be grounded because that also helps keep things yes. right. Yes. Um, but th this, is a, this meditation is basically, because we're all – with the ascension symptoms, we're all open. Our chakras are all open <laughs> and we're walking around like this, all open and, and a bit floaty if we're not grounded as yes, well. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, yeah. And and that's how they can also come in if we're, if we're you know, a bit of a, a, a low ebb, say mentally, but we're still all open. That's how, also how they can come in. So a really quick way is to... Pretend that you've got a zipper up your chakras. Yes. And literally do that zipper up so all your chakras come okay. in. So that's one way. But this, I would recommend doing this guy's meditation. It's it's really good. I've used it myself yeah. when I've stayed in some haunted places in the UK and I was getting <laughs> visitors at night and that, that stopped the visit. Okay. Uh, so I know it works, but I'll share it with you. It's really nice. It's only 20 minutes long. Yeah. I would suggest to bit because it basically what you need to do is do it several times to build the field up around your aura right and once you build that field up that's when they find it hard to get in so yeah. i would say say two or three times a day for the first three days so it's only 20 minutes long. yeah yeah um, and then maybe i don't know maybe a couple of times a week to keep it topped up yeah yeah, so it's just a case of building that field. So this is something people can use, and mm -hmm. very especially for us who are, we call ourselves light workers. Very especially mm -hmm. for us. I mean, anyone can use it, obviously, but yeah. uh, it's it's I suppose protection for light workers very important. It's very mm -hmm. important for us to have it, obviously, the protection. Yeah. So you've got a nice picture behind you there. That's an interesting picture. Yeah. <laughs> I was thumbing a lift, hoping they'd pick me up. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you said an interesting thing earlier about Skywatch. You've been having Skywatch at your house. Yeah. So How's every that Tuesday night. What that's about. Yeah. Oh, it's 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 lovely. So every Tuesday night I get uh, – so it's a closed circle, so it's only through invite. Um. Uh, I'll just say this while I remember is I have put it out there that if somebody wants to get a group together, um, I don't mind facilitating a sky watch at their place if they're local, but online if if they're not local, if they can get a group together and they go and sit in their garden and have me on the computer as a live stream, yes. I can take everyone through connection meditation so they can start seeing things. Oh, um, wow, yeah. Jenny, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so it, and the, the most important thing is that everyone is in unity. So the group has to be 
aligned and nobody in a mood or nobody you know falling out with anyone else or no negative sort of vibes yeah. going on everyone has to be at yeah. a high vibe so yeah this we've done I've, I started it again after Christmas we had quite a long break before Christmas without doing anything um, but I started it again after Christmas because it's time that actually other people start experiencing contact yes. um so what I've started doing is that um, because it's summer, we can do it easily. Yes, um, true. Every Tuesday, yeah, every Tuesday night we get people, you know, people that are invited come along. We had, I think it was 10 this week. We had a bit less the week before, so it seems to be more people seem to be wanting to come along. Um, so yeah, ten this week we had it was it was clouding, it was threatening rain. So the whole time I'm like, go away, clouds, because often ET will actually stop the clouds. Yes. Um, so this, yeah. <laughs> Do you know why I'm laughing, so, right? You you have an idea why I'm laughing because I mean, <laughs> if other people can create them, then the ETs can stop them. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> mm. Um. So the, but this is how the evening goes. I get everyone to come along with a uh, camp chair. It gets cold up here. So warm clothes, camp chair or zero gravity chair, which is one of those ones that lies back so your feet go up yes. as well. So you can actually yes. lie back and look at the sky. Sleeping bag or blanket. Um, and then once we all get settled in the circle, I take th people through a heart opening exercise, breathing technique. Um, then we, this week, we did something a little bit different. We, I, people brought their drums. So we had a bit of a drumming circle and, and start toning and, and yeah. doing that stuff. And then I got, I had the gong out. So I played the gong for everyone a little bit because that really opens things oh, up. And it also connects yeah. to the whales. Yeah, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, so we did that. And then I take, I um, play a meditation, which um, I've joined this meditation library of, if anyone knows, Star Magic Healing. It's Jerry Sargent. Um, and I've joined this meditation library. His meditations are very powerful. Okay. Um, yeah. And I've done his training and it's very powerful healing training uh, for him. Um, so we do one of his meditations. Then I then connect in very quickly and take people through a connection meditation to connect with the earth, but also creating a portal that goes right the way up into the cosmos yes. to connect to ET yes. and show them where we wow. are. Wow. And, and um, you know, then once we've done that, we all just sit and focus, keep tuned in yeah. and you know, then things slowly start to happen. But what I know is that ET, I know that they're there because the radios are already going off by the time we've done all this. Um, but they're very courteous, maybe is the right word, because they don't want to frighten anyone. So they, they're not right in your face. They do subtle energy things. Um, uh, like we do see flash bulbs, we see craft going across the sky, which looks like a satellite, but it's going way too fast. It's too fast, and uh, it's quite uh, uh, focused. Uh, it it's got a, yeah. it's got a purpose. It's moving in a purpose yeah. way. Satellites don't do that. So yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You can tell by the energy, and it is. You're right. It's got a purpose, and it's yeah, it's, it's going, going in a quick. direction of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and we see um, light anomalies, all different types of ones. Uh, see through things we get energy on the ground so often we're actually in an energy field which okay. has happened each week so far wow so you can if you're able to see energy you can kind of see it and it's like the air has got very very mild sort of scintillating light particles in it yeah that's the only way i can explain it really um Sometimes when it's quite intense, you can actually put your hand down and move your fingers and you'll see that the light particles will dance over your hands. Wow. Um, so you can tell then yeah. that yeah, yeah, that you're in it. So that's them creating that field. They they read everybody's energy signature. So if anyone is perhaps new or sh 
showing any sign of fear or anxiety or you know apprehension they they will be really subtle and the contact will be very very subtle okay then wow. yeah so yeah. they're highly sensitive to us and what we what yeah. we're feeling and thinking absolutely yeah. it's really interesting so you know i i have not been to a um sky watch i have another friend who was talking about it and she started to do this at her house she's been doing it for years mm-hmm. and um and she was telling me about this recently that it, you know that she has this um she calls it a c5 night <laughs> but anyway yeah. Yeah, that's and what so, I do as well. I yeah, belong yeah. to C five. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And so I don't even know that she belongs to C five, but I mean she is familiar with the teachings of, or well the yeah. with the workshops or the lectures that Stephen Greer has given. Anyway, yeah. but I I haven't had this these experiences where I you know that's what's happening. But I have had experiences where, um, I've seen the moving stars. I call them the moving stars. They look like stars yeah. moving and coming through and. And in this last, say, two, three weeks, we've had them, you can see something almost like, do you know how we have Morse code flashing light going off in the sky? Yeah. yeah. And um, we've seen those. And then after that, you see the moving stars and they're going towards Sirius and Orion or Orion and Sirius. And then yeah. and they have a specific thing because I have to wonder if those flashing lights is a you know, it made me think afterwards, is it possible that it's actually a portal or a stargate that they're coming through from other places? Yeah, quite, you know? quite possible. And and, yeah. and I thought, oh, maybe that's it. And so so then quite a few times they move towards Orion and you know the three, the bottom of Orion has got those three stars. They move under them. Never do yeah. they go through them or in the middle oh. of, you know, Orion's belt coming down. They never do that. They move in that direction. And then go past Sirius or sometimes go in between them and sort of then they disappear or they go east or they go south. And quite mm-hmm. often the ones that go that go west when Jupiter, you know, towards Jupiter will go up to Jupiter and then take a different turn, take a turn and go in a different direction. So yeah. I'm very fascinated. I'm so like what you're telling me are things I've already experienced. And I'm like, OK, so I've, I'm having my experience. I'm just yeah. not having it with other people present or, you know, um, I, it's just not happening where I've got a, a gathering of people together and we're looking up and we, we, we're doing whatever we're doing. I'm really fascinated with this whole thing of us being in contact and, mm-hmm. and also they're in contact. We're just not aware yeah. of them, right? Well, some are. Contact. Um, some of us are, but some aren't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I and I think I think they. That's what I mean when I say this. They're yeah. more in contact with us because they're 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 probably observing. They're doing their thing up in the okay. sky, whatever. Right. Yeah. It's just yeah. we. There's lesser of us aware or believing because yeah. of the programming, and I think that's coming to an end. That programming is yeah. coming to an end. You know, yeah, um, exciting times. Exciting times. It is. We're clearing so much now. We, you know, we're not just clearing things from the planet. We're clearing things from the human collective. We're clearing things from ourselves That's and right. our own soul journey. Yeah. Um, yeah. Going back to the craft, I actually have seen. This was uh, probably a couple of years ago. Here at this at our house, two craft going side by side, and they went straight through Orion's belt. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then then there was like a bigger craft over on the left. Yeah, that was flashing and pulsating. Okay, while these two craft went went through. Wow. Yeah. So, so that brilliant. that's interesting. I haven't seen them like going together. I've seen them going in tandem, like you know how one after the other, like three of them yeah. just just yeah. like a, a group of three, just following through yeah. and going and and going that way to wherever they're going to going to i haven't seen too much in the last couple of nights because of the cloud uh Mm -hmm. you know there's lots of cloud about and um i just thought i wonder what's going on why are they here what's why is there so many of them and um but it's good to see it's i'm so like it's such an awesome feeling to know that you know we can see this we are communicating and um it's just amazing it's it's amazing yeah, yeah. 
My yeah, daughter's had her say. first experience of that in the last uh, month or so as well. So it's like, okay. Wow. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. That's where very where cool. I wasn't pointing it out and she saw it herself. So this is good. Yeah. Wow, that's brilliant. Yeah. yeah Sorry, go on. Absolutely. I interrupted you. No, no, that's okay. I was just going to say, um, even if it's cloudy, you can, because they can still make their presence known if they feel it's okay yes. to. Yes. Because John yes. and I have been sat out on um, a New Year's Eve, it was, one night. Um, this was a couple of years ago, and we were sat out, and it was a cloudy night, and we thought, oh, we'll just go and sit outside and have a drink each uh, to see the new year in. So that's what we did. And then it was kind of that low-lying cloud that, that doesn't rain, so it was quite yeah. light. Yeah, yeah. Um, and honestly, we sat there, and all of a sudden this light or these lights started shining on the cloud, darting backwards and forwards. But wow. they weren't just darting backwards and forwards around us. They were going right the way down several Ks. Right. And then right the way up over the Kaimai several Ks. And we could wow. see them moving all about <laughs> above us. And I thought, oh, my God, that's E.T. Because we were really, you know, obviously got to look – You've got to have a bit of a sceptical mind and look for perhaps if someone got, you know, a high-powered torch That's right. doing yeah, stuff and yeah. all that. And we looked, 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 yeah, and we couldn't find anything coming right. from the ground. So that's the only thing I think was that they were the other side of the clouds. And this is another thing, that when the human collective is celebrating, the frequency of the human collective and Earth rises right yeah. up. So Christmas Day, uh, New Year's Eve, uh, any of those like big celebration type things where the whole planet's celebrating, yes. um, the frequency has gone right up. So you're more likely going to get contact at yes, those Yes, I've been hearing that. I've been hearing that. Just very interesting, right, that um, when there's a lot of joy and happiness and receptivity mm. on the planet that we can yeah. have more contact or like someone was saying to me it's in in um they read somewhere that december and january are where uh, months where a lot of people choose to leave if they're unwell and things like that they choose to leave because True. they can see the transition so easy uh yeah. with all the light coming down you know uh, at the time because of all the energy of the people like all the happiness yeah. all that beautiful light coming down and you know people focusing on christ and the, and his birth and all of that and yes we know that the story the main story we've got is not exactly the story but but it's the energy isn't it even if it That's is right. like it, yeah it's about the happy joyous joyous energy yeah so yeah absolutely. yeah yeah that's cool i, I wanted I to show you something say but you, you, yeah. you tell me first. You tell me first. Oh, well, I was just going to say, you should come down on Tuesday evening and stay the night. I should. I should come down. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're welcome to. Thank you. you Thank like. you for that. Because I just, it'd be great to have such an experience. I just have to work out my um, my schedule and uh, also um, who looks after the dog when I'm away. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, it's one night. But... Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And just got to yeah. make sure I can organize it. Um, so a couple of, not a couple, maybe a few nights ago, I was outside and I just looked up at the sky and I thought, oh, look at these clouds. They look so unusual. And I'm going to share, she put on share screen for, for you and for everyone else. And not the best pictures because, I mean, it was that time of the night, but look at these clouds. Wow. That was yeah, like, what? That. that was like, what are these lines? They don't look like chemtrails to me. But very you know, difficult don't... to tell. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm more drawn to what's happening in the middle there. Yeah, actually, yeah, around that bit. Tell me, um, what do you think? It looks like there's a lot of energy going on there, and something's happening. Okay, that on that okay. bit there. Yeah. More so yeah, than so over. This is, this over, is the bit. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a lot of energy there to me. And if you look very, very closely, okay. right in the middle, there's a face. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I don't know I what those lines are. I mean, I'm I'm very dubious to say because some of the chemtrails look similar. 
Yes, they do. Um, yeah. 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 I've just never seen them packed out like that before. But yeah. it doesn't mean they won't they 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 don't have the option to be packed out like that. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't mean uh it's not happening like that because this is big cloud. And here's the moon. And I'm gonna show the next picture I show you will be more about the moon. Um I um you know, because it's a waxing moon at the moment, and today will be mm. obviously the full moon at whatever time. I yeah. haven't had a notification for when it's happening. But, so I'm not sure if the full moon is happening for us on the 26th rather than the 25th, because the 25th is always more people talking about it from the Northern Hemisphere perspective. But um, yeah. I'm trying to see your, the face you're talking about here, and I can't see the face. This is so... Yeah, so it's right in the middle of the picture. It's what? very faint. Yeah. Um, it, it you know that circular energy thing. That's it. You've this got one. your arrow. You had your arrow then on the middle of that. Yeah. There's a very faint face. I can see the face, and I'll tell you how I can see. It's almost like a heart shaped face. Do you see here? This is what I'm seeing as a face. It's there's okay, the eyes well, here, and, and yeah. that's what I'm seeing as a face because I'm like, okay, it's almost like it's got a smile too. I can see that, but if you go to the I don't know whether it would be right in the center of that circular cloud. This one here. It's there. there. That's it. You've got your arrow right on that face. Let's see. It's mm. quite subtle. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see the indentations for the eyes and the nose, and you can just about see the outline of the face. So we're we talking about the eyes are here? No. 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 Okay. It's tiny. It's small. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh yes, I see what you mean. Now I see what you mean. It is here. It's almost it, like yeah, it's, it's yeah. just this part here that you you. Know, yes, yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. Wow, wow, that is interesting. And then I can see something here. It's kind of weird because it's got a heart. The heart shaped face is here, but there you go. This is what you're seeing. I see the heart shaped face that you're yeah. saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's like, and you yes, know, I do. E -T I, it almost looks like the Cheshire cat with a big smile. That's the one. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. That's interesting. I love it that we can talk about this like that, that you could see something in there that I didn't see because, you know, often we um, we just we just move on, right? We don't see too much. This, to me, yeah. looks like a standing dragon. This one here looks yeah. like a standing dragon. Yes, it does. <laughs> All right. It does. And look at that cloud over there. It's got a perfect, like, triangular point. That's right. That's right. When I see clouds in, uh, when I see clouds that look like spaceships, I believe there's one in there. Um, oh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah. I believe there's one in there because it's like, I was reading something once. They said, if you're looking at a cloud up in the sky and something looks like a starship, um, a spaceship, it's likely to be a spaceship. <laughs> So really That's good. Right. Yeah, if you're feeling it, yeah. go with the feeling, you know, the it's always, gut yeah. feeling. It's always about yeah. the feeling. I'm just going to stop yeah. sharing and bring the other one up. Uh, so that picture, you know, we saw the moon there in that picture. Now yeah. I've I moved on and I took this picture and I'm going to go share screen. And that's the picture. Now this one is, uh, yeah, right. Here's our picture. That's lovely. Is that's the moon? Yeah. Is it? The moon is here because I never, I never get good pictures of the moon for whatever reason. It doesn't like to be pictured. Mm. I think. However, looking down here, I feel like yeah, there's a dragon coming through here. Yeah, it's got, look at the rainbow colors. That's what I was gonna say. Like it's a rainbow. The color, mm. the colors of the rainbow. And look, even here, you can. It looks like there's a wing here. Yeah, and there's a I wing can there. see that. I can see the dragon head. That's amazing. Yeah. And the moon is like. Yeah. You know, part of the dragon head because you can see maybe there's a bit of fire coming out of its its beak or or, mm -hmm. or its mouth there, right? Even on the neck, these little indentations look like there's a dragon yeah, in there. Look at that! Yeah, it's it's quite amazing. And now this little heart here is an orb. Oh wow! Look at that! That's, That's so cool. Yeah, because I always get an orb when I'm taking the picture of the moon. I always get an orb in it. And this time, this orb mm -hmm. looks like a heart shape. It looks like it's two fused together here, but it's actually yeah. looking like a green heart. So that's lovely. That is lovely. <laughs> but in fact, you've got there's lots of faces in there. Yes, I agree with you. If you yeah, if you look above the domed bit on the roof, there's it here, right? 
that's yeah the that's thing. it that's like an et face and that's there's right, another popping out of the cloud yeah yeah above the chimney like sort of on a side yeah this one yeah or this one this this one here right there's, one, there's a yeah. face looking up looking out at us that's there. right yeah 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 wow very cool. I, look, I go, but I get lots of messages in the clouds and lots of things showing That's up in the right. clouds. Yeah. I can see another dragon head. Yes. So above the flat bit of the roof, just above that white cloud where the rainbow um, yeah. sort of is starting, that big dragon head there. I thought so too earlier when I looked at yeah. it. I thought, oh my gosh, there's more than one dragon here. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's very cool. It's really cool. Just, and... just... Say this again, Jenny, because I it just kind of I got cut off. Share. Sorry. I, I'm going to stop sharing the yeah, screen. Sorry. I'll stop sharing. I'm just... So you can show us. Yeah. I just want to get see the perfect triangle in the middle. Can you see that? Uh, yes, yes, now I can. I can. Yes, I can. I think that's a cloaked ship. That's a cloak? A cloaked ship. A cl oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, no surprises. There'd be a cloaked ship yeah. there. Yeah. Where'd you get that perfect picture from? Triangle. Well, I can see I can I, see that I, perfect triangle. Yeah. Yeah. I took that picture above my daughter's house one day. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I think I think that um ET were keeping an eye on things because that I took that not long after a uh, little a baby Ali was conceived okay. so I think that um I think that little person has probably got quite a special mission here yes indeed, indeed. Yeah. Yep. yeah because and so they're making sure he's he's all right and yeah. uh is with the right yeah. well obviously he's with the right people because you know it's been chosen um yeah. wow so I'm fascinated that you work so much with the ETs and um yeah, I actually think there was an Arcturian in the house the other day. And it was really yeah. interesting because the blue showed up against the curtain and it was this Arcturian blue and the curtain is more like a petrol blue. And it just was going up. The, you could just see the energy of this blueness going up and down the curtain. And I thought, oh, wow, okay. that's cool. That's yeah, I thought that cool. was cool too. And I just thought, okay, so some stuff is happening. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm I'm very affiliated to the Arcturians, and um, I, I I I do not know of any Arcturian that is of low vibration, because I oh, don't think, I don't think yeah. they could ever be in that space. No. You know? um, I so, agree. So yeah. it's really good when they're around. You know that, um, you know that everything just they just make everything feel peaceful and wonderful and okay. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I just want to show you this if I yes. if I am um, of course to, I'll just I can stretch it out. So I did an on online group healing session. Um it was the eleventh of January, I think. Yeah. Um and I just happened to look round while I was still, you know, everyone was still under, and I just happened to look around and look up at the ceiling and I couldn't find anything that was reflecting. And this, if I can, if I can show you, I don't know. Whoop. Oops. That light code appeared. I see that. On wow. Wow. Yeah. While I was doing the healing. Yeah, yeah. and it's, and even I'm as you move the gonna... as you moved your phone, you can see that it's changing too, right? Am I seeing the right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so there's there's unusual light anomalies that are appearing all over the place. And another thing that people are having, and they've been having this for quite a while, from, from what I've heard from different people telling me things, um, is like a glitch in the matrix where they've, you know, all of a sudden they've they're somewhere and they've gone, hang on a minute, what am I doing here? Or yes, how, you know, I I'm I'm used to doing this. Why can't I actually know how to do it? That's right. You know, yeah. So there's lots I'm of glitches. A lot of it. Like I'm having a lot of it. It's like, okay, what, are, are what you? did you do? What? Why are you here? Or yeah. like I'm in traffic and I'm thinking, I shouldn't be in traffic. <laughs> I Because in traffic, something, the worst thing that can happen is if you have a glitch and you're in traffic. Yeah. You know? yeah go on. Um. So, so I just, 
there's certain things like I've also known like um one of the ladies I we I do an, did an interview with sent me a thing, a picture of um after we'd done our interview, there was um it you her YouTube showed her that there was about one thousand three hundred and twelve likes of that video that we awesome. had, had done. Wait a second, <laughs> but there were zero views of it. Well, that's <laughs> weird. Tell you, glitch in the matrix. <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. Oh, I have, goodness, and and let me tell you why she took a picture and sent it to me. So I, wow. I you know, I've seen it, and I was like, okay, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah. Like you know, yeah. So, so it we're is bizarre. experiencing that glitch in the matrix situation, right? Because you suddenly think, well, what am I doing here? Oh, why did I do that? Or why did I think of it like that? You know. So yeah, yeah it's um. Yeah, interesting, interesting times. Wow. Well, yeah. it, what it shows is the matrix is slowly dissolving, which is what we want. That's right. And, you know, many, what we also must realize is that all of this is, all of this that we've been doing our transformation process, it is complete and it's been successful. And anything mm -hmm. that we see is really a lot about illusions that people are attempting to keep us in or whoever is yeah. trying to keep us in and don't get caught up in it. Don't get caught up yeah. in the news. Don't get caught up in, in stuff. I mean, like some of the things that, oh, some of the things I, I'm, that I'm hearing through other people, I'm not, I'm not watching it. I'm not, you know, going in and finding out information. So I feel like as long as we keep doing what we're doing, as in we are, we, we are receptive to the higher frequencies. We are doing our meditations. We are keeping ourselves protected. And we know that our vibration is high and we're just living from that higher perspective, higher perspective, that yeah. we, will, we, will, we will slide through this. We will go through this. We will flow through this. Not slide, but flow through it. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's what I think. Yeah. Um, I was, I know that, a lot of us, like 2023 for many people was a tough year. And I've said it so many times in my podcasts or whatever. I, I spoke to somebody today, just, just to had a catch up with, with him because, you know, um, we're going to do some work together as in we will be doing an interview on the channel. But I spoke to him and, and from some of the things he was saying that happened in his world, like he's such a calm person. <laughs> he's so, like as soon as he sits down, you feel I'm um, zen. Because he's got that energy about it. You know, I'm just like in Zen, right? And and he was telling me some of some of the the things that he processed, uh, things that happened to him in in 2023. So it's like many people went through those challenges. We had to deal with our shadows, and um, yeah. and now we have to remember that something happened with the Kali Yuga, with the with the solstice and everything. We have been propelled now into into light we've had a big shift into the light and so yeah. as much as we do reflect on 2023 because i do a lot um as much as we do reflect on it we must know that it happened for 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 the fact that we needed to be able to appreciate the light we're shifting into and we yeah. had to deal with our shadow side so you know yeah absolutely and i you know there's a lot of people that can't go there but they they absolutely need to, otherwise it's just going to bubble up and and things will happen and yeah. they'll be full. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And the thing is, for I was saying this and I know, and I said this yesterday in the live chat with with Emma Liston, you know that it's good to, for example, have an amiable relationship with an ex partner, especially if you have children with them, because ultimately yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, the children suffer for the dissension between the parents. Yeah, I know that it's not easy. And uh, I know that's not easy, especially if that ex-partner is tough to deal with and all of that. But if we're working in the light and holding the light space, we have to ask for help with that because yeah. we cannot let those things pull us back into the matrix, pull us back into yeah. patterns that will rob us of all the work we've done all this time. We have to make sure. And, and I'm speaking, when it comes to that, I'm speaking from experience. I had an amiable relationship with my ex-husband. But, yeah. you know, since he's passed on, I've had moments of anger. And then I thought, I didn't know that I had that feeling, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. But it's about saying, acknowledging it um, and Absolutely. saying, right, processing it and then saying, let's go, move on from it, you know. Yeah. 
So yeah. I feel like um, there is a need for us to be careful about what we're taking on at the moment, right? Yeah, well, it's it's about, you know, I mean, there is, like you said, you know, that you're hearing about so many different things through friends, um, me also, but I, I do watch quite a lot. And what what the best thing that everyone can do is is look at it without being involved. So as if you were a fly on the wall looking at it and yes. you're just observing. Yeah. You know, you're not giving it any energy. You're not going, oh, my God, that's terrible. Um, you're just going, okay, well, that's not in my world. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, I'm not um, there yet. Yeah. I'm not here the, uh, yeah. there yet to do that. I, I'll admit that because, you know, so because I can sometimes get really astounded and annoyed because I'm like, what the heck? You know, and I, yeah. and, and I know that about myself. So therefore I'm sort of, I've got to get to that point of, because even Pam Gregory was, Gregory has been talking about this a lot where you, you must be in a position of observing. Yes. You know, if you, if you want to know, observe and say, well, okay, right. That's not my world. And yeah. I'm moving on. Do not be fearful. Do not be angry. Do not get personally involved in it. Do not give it that's any right. energy. Yeah. You know? That's mm. right. Yeah. And yeah. you know, I, I class it as being like a like a surfer on top of the wave. You you know, all these things are going on underneath and you're just riding the top there and keeping on top of that wave as you go along. Yeah. Yeah. Very that's a very good analogy, I think. So Ginny, I'm looking at time and I'm thinking that soon we will be uh, we'll be saying goodbye. Is there anything else you want to tell us? Because I do have a request of you, but you tell us anything else you want to share with us today and then I'll make my request. Um, I just, you know, just to, again, reiterate, to keep above, try not to get involved in all this stuff because, um, you know, the, I, I call it the darker side, are trying their hardest to keep everyone in fear. And it's up to us to take full responsibility of our own energy and what we're putting out and to not go, not fall for it. And just go, actually, uh, that, they're a bit like monkeypox. They try their hardest with monkeypox. And everyone were going, oh, no, we've been and done that. We're not going there again. And what <laughs> yes. monkeypox? It went. It went. You exactly. Know? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Exactly. So, so anything that comes along that, you, that they're trying to keep you in fear, don't even give it any energy at all. Just go, oh, no, no, we're not doing that again. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, so that that would be my message to try and keep your own frequency up, take responsibility for your own vibration, your own frequency, and your own thoughts and feelings. Yeah, you know. Yeah. If somebody gets wound up about something, like you said, you know, it let it come up, go into it. Okay, what's why am I being triggered by this? Yeah. Let's just go into it and go. Okay. Okay, well, I don't need to anymore, and I'm just going to let it go, and I and yes. see it go like a dark mist leaving your body, you know, or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I agree with you. I feel like it is important to say, well, oh yeah, okay, that thing. Let's carry on. Let's get on. Well, they let you know we're doing our lives. We're doing our thing. That's not yeah. not going to be affecting what we do. Um, yeah. yes, very important uh, for us to be conscious of. of of that and also you know if you don't if you feel like you can't be in that space and 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 remain neutral then just don't go into that space until you're ready to be able to do that is yeah you know just yeah. know know what you what you we need to know what we should take on or not because you know i don't i yeah. don't watch i don't watch a yeah. lot of things I, oh this is what i was gonna say i've been speaking to a few people in the last week and i've noticed that some people are still following like the truthers and, uh, you know, um, different people that are talking about the white hats and, and all of that. And I was doing that in 2021, 2022. And I got to August and I felt like I needed a hiatus from everything. I stopped watching YouTube for like six months and all of that, you know. And yeah. um, I really felt guided and strongly that I would do that. And it sort of diluted me from wanting to know what this person says or what that person says. Because I think at the end of the day, for example, you know, if somebody wants to say, you, you know, that person's a white hat and the white hats are doing this and the whatever, and we want to speculate or we want to pull cards and say, 
oh, this is what happened and let's pull a card about that and this is what I think that means and blah, blah, blah. It is taking us away from our purpose and our sovereignty, really, right? Yeah. And and then you yeah. begin to wonder, okay, so these people are high vibrational and I'm nothing against the truth as I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. So yeah. how much how much um, time, air time are we going to give them that takes us away from what we're supposed to be doing? Because, you know, yeah. You not you can listen to so many people, right? And yeah. there's nothing wrong with listening yeah. to people. It's nice to have all the perspectives. Yeah. But what's the purpose of it at the end of the day? Where are you at in your life? And what do you yeah. need to be able to live your life comfortably and, 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 and in a good, high vibrational space right now? And sometimes, yeah. how many more times can you hear about something that happened from that same well, person? Well, that's right. That's right. And And, you know... Some of the stuff that has been said actually hasn't happened at all. So, I mean, I, I watch some of it because I get loads. Of, people send me so much stuff and I, <laughs> and I look at it every morning and I go, okay, yeah. While I'm getting ready, I'll just listen to that. So something that might, I might think, yeah. oh, do you know, that might be interesting. I'll listen to that. And um, But honestly, I don't retain the information. So no. I, I obviously need it. So... Further on in the day, someone could ask me some questions about that video I listened to earlier, and I'll go, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know exactly what you mean. Yeah. yeah, I'm going through that phase yeah. at the moment because even my, like, if I want yeah. to listen to my tarot, I don't have the mind space for it. Like, yeah. I'll start, I'll listen, and then I'm completely in another place in my mind. And then I think, oh, what did you just yeah. say? Oh, it just feels like I've, I went through this for a while towards the end of last year for maybe four months where I just couldn't listen to certain people. I just couldn't, like, just don't talk to me. Just, you know, nothing to do with them. It's about my no. energy, my energy fields yeah. and what I can and can't cope with at the moment. But currently, yeah. you know, I can listen to Pam Gregory sometimes for the astrology. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, even Tim Wilde, I, you know, I love listening to his podcasts. I love listening to his meditations and things like that. But this last week, I've tried to do it and I've fallen asleep. And yeah. it's just yeah. like, okay, maybe I just can't at the moment, my energy, whatever I'm taking in is not coping with that. So, you know. Well, you know yeah, sorry for butting in. Yeah. No, no, you can. You can go ahead. Yeah, well, you know what? My my thoughts on all of this is that, you know, we we – we get drawn towards certain light workers and we want to listen to them. And, um, you know, we, we recognize their energy and we, um, um, love what they're doing, what they're teaching. And we want to learn as much as we can, but you get to a certain point where you've grown yourself so much that you don't need to listen to that anymore. Exactly. And that someone else will come along and you'll go, oh, my God, I really like what they're mm. doing. Yeah. You know, and you're going to – you might not even take in any information consciously, but energetically will be activating your energy field, your yes. light body, all that. And then you'll get – you'll go, ah, uh, like fall asleep, or you'll go, oh, I, I don't know, I don't think I'll listen to them anymore. Yeah, And then someone else will come along. And this, I think this is how we're moving forward. Until yeah. eventually, you'll go to yourself, I don't need to listen to anyone else. Exactly. I'm going to probably just go with my own, yeah. what, whatever I'm experiencing, whatever, you know, is coming in for me personally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, you know. Mm -hmm. I have yeah. I've gone through phases of that. I agree with you. I've gone through phases of that where I just can't listen to anybody, and then I come back, and then I'll pick and choose again, and mm -hmm. and Me go too. and 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 this that's perfectly all right. And you know when I think about <laughs> this, all of the energy um, or intuitive teachers, they are all wonderful. They have all mm -hmm. contributed yeah. so much to my growth, and you know yeah. probably yours is obviously yours too. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we love them and uh, yeah. appreciate them but they just, it's just the way the flow is the way this ascension process is that sometimes you've taken that much and it's like no no you need to have some respite from that because whatever yeah. you've taken you it's also about processing whatever you've taken and assimilating that into or integrating that within your your mind and your your body and your your heart and your and, and your fields and so once yeah. you've integrated it properly, then you're ready for whatever else is next, be it with that person or be it another another teacher. So it's really wonderful. 
It's good that the universe right. looks after us so, right. so well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and those people, those light workers, because I've got people that listen to me and people move on. So some people that were listening to me, I don't know, say, I don't know, four years ago or whatever, they don't need to listen to me anymore. But there's new people that are awakening. Yes. So it's like a new batch of people are coming along and they'll learn yes. what they can do and then they'll move on. You know, so whatever, whoever the light worker is, their work is still important. But yes. it's just that people that have listened to them have have raised in frequency to that level and they don't need to be there anymore at the moment. Because, again, like you were saying, we might go back to the same people because their frequency has also gone up higher. Yes. They're giving new information and then we're drawn to that information and yes. go, actually, yes, I do want to listen to that. Yeah. Um, so it's a, it's everything is weaving in and out, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really good we were talking about this because when I've I've spoken to various people recently, I feel like um, some people are still in that thing of, I just need to hold on to this person. I just need to listen to what they've got to say. And whilst that's okay, um, part of getting grown up in this phase is to say, I'm I'm here to appreciate there's a smorgasbord I take what I yeah. need or and that moment of sustenance and what yeah. I don't, I leave it and yeah. it's okay to come back or it's okay to, to go to the next smorgasbord of whatever's available and everything is relative and relevant and we need to be easy about that. And, you know, but also just remember that right now, even as we're going through the processes, you've got people that there's question marks, they are energy, they are intuitive teachers but there's question marks as well. Because I know some people that I was yes. listening to two years ago, I will not listen to them because I already know that the, op the platform they're operating from. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. it's question. There's a question mark on it. But yeah, yeah. we've been going on for some time and I have kept you. Jenny. That's all right. My That's request right. to you was you wanted to do some light language at the beginning of when we started. Would you like to yeah. sign us out with some light language? I would love to. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you so much for having me on again. That's great. You're very I love welcome. Our chat. Thank you. I know. Thank you for coming back. And I really loved this one for me was a whole new level. And it was mm. so, uh, we've, we've had lots of wonderful chats, but this one I felt was a yeah. whole new level. It's very galactic. And I will call yeah. you a galactic ambassador. Thank you. Because I, I, that's what I want to be. That's what I feel like. You're I a galactic am, yeah. ambassador. And obviously with the work you're doing and because you're working with the galactics and then coming back in and doing stuff for people here on earth that are, you know, are going through the physical life, then I just yeah. feel that's an amazing, amazing position to, well, not position to have, but amazing work to have to do. And wow, that's just awesome. I'm very honored to know you. Uh Thank you. Thank you very much. I feel so blessed to be able to do this work. I really do. I'm in such gratitude yeah. um, and, and awe that that I am, you know, able to be that person that will help others experience because that's yeah. what I need to do. Yeah. Help others get contact. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank and I you. Will, so, everybody. We're going to hand over to Jenny for her to do some light language and then we'll say goodbye after that. But over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Kishana te kishi o tu ira kamai te ayuro o shiana ta isira kutu uru kayama. Ia kushkutu kea mate e uru kushia marago uthia. Kishana te usi kutu uru mai to yamara ya na yiti o ku irama uro i si kashena te i pisi o ku shena ta o u i si na papa i uro kea i si kapa ki si ku te rikari ma ki si kate ko si ku te rikari ma ki e ku te i amara ma amara mo aria kaina uru ai nei o i amo uro. Thank you. Wow. I have not heard that language before. Wow. That's amazing. 
Thank you. Well, whatever that is that we, we, we got to hear, the light codes will be downloaded into all of us and we will mm -hmm. then integrate it and understand the message behind it. Did you have an interpretation of it? Uh, I, I must uh, ask, I must ask, uh, but it doesn't mean you have to have an interpretation of it, but yeah. yeah no, 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 for, cause, because for me, when light codes come in or light language is spoken, it literally is on a multidimensional level. So it can mean so much. So I don't put a singularity on it. Good. It's, yeah, it yeah. will activate each person in whatever way that person needs. Great. Yeah. That is great because... Yeah, I my language is like that a lot most of the time, and then there are other times where I get an interpretation. If there is an if there's a need for it, then I will see what's coming through. But I loved yeah. it; it was just beautiful. Do you know what Do you know what um, heritage it is? What galaxy or um, people? I, no, I don't. I actually don't. I I literally um, okay. I know it's going to activate people. I I did. I was around someone's house the other day and, and we were talking about light language. He never heard it. So I thought, yeah. I said to him, do you want to hear some? And he said, yeah. So I just got into that space because the, how I feel when I speak light language, it's like the heart and the higher consciousness is fully opened and it's just pure light codes that are coming down. And then coming down through a frequency through yeah. the voice. Yeah. Anyway, I did it with him and he went, whoa, <laughs> my whole body is tingling. <laughs> yeah. Went, hey, that, he's been activated. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's been activated without even realizing that was what he was going to get. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Jenny, thank you so much for coming and having a chat and giving us your time today. I know that you're a busy lady, so I really appreciate it. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. Whenever you catch this, whether you're watching live or whether you're going to be watching it tomorrow and any other day. And thank you for joining us. And hey, thank you so much, Ginny, again. And we'll catch you next time here on the Great Awakening Generator. Until then, have a good, good day, night, morning, wherever it is. Yeah. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>